Since starting my channel, we've covered a lot of ground in the men's hair world. And, uh, you know, as time has passed, we've been getting more and more detailed, more and more specific. That said, over time, we've also gained a lot of new people, a lot of new faces. And I think it's a good time right about now to revisit some of the men's hair back to basics. Starting out with probably what is the most important styling tool that you could use, the blow dryer. I've got this one right here. This is the Dyson, very expensive, very pricey. You don't have to go for this if you don't want. You can go for a regular blow dryer as well. I don't remember how much this costs, probably around $30, $40. If you are interested in knowing specifically about the Dyson blow dryer, I've made a review on this before. It's right up here. Um, lots of good stuff. You can check it out if you wanna know more specifically about this. So before we talk about how to use a blow dryer, we gotta talk about why to even use one in the first place. What's the importance? What's the big deal? A blow dryer, without a doubt, allows your hairstyle to last so much longer than if you style your hair without a blow dryer. The only real exception to this rule is if you're using some kind of crazy heavy pomade uh, and you just load up your hair with a bunch of pomade and leave that to dry then that probably by itself will hold your hair in place in pretty much every other circumstance a blow dryer will enhance and allow your hairstyle to last longer reason number two is that a blow dryer allows you to reshape and control your hair in a new direction um, in a different direction that your hair naturally goes when it's you know naturally dry. My hair, for example, if I don't style it, if I leave it to dry naturally, it actually, it doesn't stick up. It doesn't have that much volume. It does have a little bit of poof, but it's mostly downwards, kind of like this and to the side. It's really that blow dryer that helps to build in that volume and build in this new direction and new kind of control that I can't achieve, can't achieve this to the same degree that I can with a blow dryer. And the third reason to use a blow dryer is that it actually allows your hairstyles to look and feel a little bit more soft and a little bit more natural because you don't have to use as much product. If you think about it, if you don't use a blow dryer and you wanna get that volume in your hair, similar to what I've got going on right now, you'd have to use so much more product than would be necessary if you just blow dried your hair into the air and then applied just the right amount of product, not too much to finish it off. In the end, your hair will actually look better but not look like you put as much effort as if you didn't use a blow dryer. You see what I'm saying? So how to, how do we use a blow dryer? Always start every single time with very damp hair. Not soaking, not like dripping wet hair, but the damper, the better. See, the more wet that your hair is, the less it's able to kind of want to go back into its natural position. For example, if you've got kind of curly hair or wavy hair, or even for my hair type, which isn't really, it has a little bit of a wave, but it's mostly just kind of, you know, poofy but flat at the same time without much volume. This is gonna make sure that you can maximize the ability of reshaping your hair using a blow dryer. If you start blow drying hair that's already drying down naturally, uh, as soon as your hair starts to dry naturally, obviously it's gonna be drying into its natural position. And with the blow dryer, like the whole point of using a blow dryer is so that you can recreate a hairstyle, uh, you know, whatever you wanna create, not kind of just go back to whatever your hair looks like anyways. And then once your hair is thoroughly dampened, again, it doesn't have to be dripping, but just, you know, pretty damp. I would recommend to always start with the pre-styler. The same way I said at the beginning of this video that a blow dryer helps to make your hairstyle last so much longer, a pre-styler just amplifies that times 10. Now there's tons of products that you can use as pre-stylers. Some are designed to be a pre-styler, others just work at pre-stylers. At the end of the day, you want something that is lightweight, that's not gonna be weighing your hair down, but still gives a good amount of hold, a good amount of control, and sets a good foundation. Some people like gels, some people like mousse. Uh, I've never been a huge fan of either of those twos, especially mousse. It doesn't work as well for my thick hair. Uh, you guys already know my go-to is Original by Blumon. It just provides the perfect amount of hold and control without feeling uh, like you've got product in your hair. It feels completely natural. It's perfect for the pre-blow drying portion of your hairstyling process. Now the part where people start getting confused is when we're talking about how hot your blow dryer should be for your hairstyle. Now the truth is a blow dryer is not as damaging as people think it is. At least as some people think it is. 
Even though a blow dryer can get quite hot, uh, there's a couple factors. First of all, it's never actually touching, physically touching your hair like a straightener is or a curling iron. And second of all, you're never really keeping a blow dryer in the exact same spot. You're always moving it around, you're drying your hair down, you know, all over the place, that's how it works. And because of that, I would say for most people out there, you can use your blow dryer at your hottest heat setting. This might be a little different for girls because girls are, you know, people with longer hair kind of go over the same bit, get quite close to it. They're really trying to strain it out. Now, even with that said, you can always still err on the side of caution. Uh, I mean, I do that when I get the chance. Original by Blumont does have a heat protection built in. So even if you are concerned about some damage, we've got you covered with that heat protection element of the pre-styler. The only time I would recommend using a medium heat instead of a high heat is if your hair is really damaged or you have really sensitive hair or like really frizzy kind of dry hair. So, you know, you don't, don't want to add any possible damage to that. Uh, if your hair is more on the normal side slash anything else, I'd say hot air is fine. Also, don't use the cold air when you're trying to dry your hair down. It's going to make the process so much longer. It's going to take you way longer to dry your hair and it's also not going to be nearly as effective because hot air is opening up your hair hair follicles, we've talked about this before, um, opening up your hair follicles and allowing your hair to be repositioned in a new direction. What cold air is doing is closing them back down and locking them in place. So you don't want to use cold air during the drying process, but you do want to use cold air when you finish drying the process and you want it to lock your hair in place. Long sentence. So when I finish blow drying my hair, what I like to do is change the heat setting from hot to completely cold and then get as close as you want. Remember the air is now cold. There's gonna be no damage whatsoever. You can be as close to your hair as you want. And since I like going for that volume in the fringe, as you can clearly see what I've got going on now, I like to take the blow dryer really close, take a vented brush and just really lock down that volume in my fringe area. That's just another thing that helps to make my hairstyle last all day long. And guys, those are pretty much the basics. Uh, if there's still guys out there who are like, I don't wanna touch a blow dryer, I don't need one. I'm just saying there's so many advantages, even from just you having your hairstyle look more natural because you're using less product. You know, you're given the impression that you're not putting as much work into your hair, even though it's looking great. A blow dryer will do that for you. For you guys out there complain about your hairstyle not lasting all day long, a blow dryer will help fix that if you use it correctly. Remember, start out with hot heat, uh, finish off with cold heat, bring it nice and close, lock that hairstyle into place. Use a pre-styler, a pre-styler just adds hours. It adds hours, it's like adding life. All right, it's adding life to your hair. Of course, when it's all said and done, make sure you go back in with some more product at the end. In my case today, I used Hybrid, which just provides a little bit of control, but not too much hold. I don't need too much hold since I got a bunch of hold or a bunch of volume from the blow dryer. Don't underestimate the power of the blow dryer. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe and like button simultaneously at the same time. I'll see everybody next time.